So condoms are really interesting. So a lot of condoms are latex, um, and latex is actually the sap of the rubber tree. So just like maple syrup is the sap of the maple tree, you tap the rubber tree and the latex comes out, and there's no harm done to the rubber tree. Um, the issue is that a lot of rubber plantations around the world are pretty sort of dark places. There's lots of child labor, there's lots of harsh and terrible chemicals and pesticides used on these plantations. And we were able to find the only fair trade certified rubber plantation in the world. The other issue is the nitrosamines, which I'm sure nobody has heard of, because I certainly hadn't heard of them before I got into the condom business. Um, but basically, when you're heating and molding latex, and this is for any latex product, a chemical reaction occurs, and the nitrosamines, which are a carcinogen, actually form in the latex. Um, so it's not something that other manufacturers are adding. It's not like a chemical they're adding, but it is what happens when you heat and mold latex. So you actually have to add a chemical blocker to the manufacturing process to prevent the nitrosamines from forming in the latex. The issue is that the way that nitrosamines get released from latex is when latex comes into contact with bodily fluid. So you can use your imagination. but. The FDA, for example, has regulated the nitrosamine levels in things like pacifiers, because that's another latex product coming into contact with bodily fluid. But of course, the FDA is not regulating the nitrosamine levels in latex condoms. Um, nitrosamines are regulated in other countries in terms of the parts per billion. We're in no way saying that you shouldn't use a condom that has nitrosamines in it, because any condom, in my opinion, is better than no condom. But we do think, as I've been saying, consumers have the right to know what's in these products and what they're exposing themselves to. So we're the only fair trade nitrosamine-free brand of condoms sold in the U.S.